Marian Rajavi, dear friends. It is great to be here today among all of you, women and men, supporting free Iran. The women of Iran have been in the forefront of the resistance movement against the clerical regime. They have a lot at stake because their rights are trampled on as misogyny is part of the legal framework in Iran and discrimination based on gender is institutionalized. This cannot go on. This is not acceptable in the 21st century. We must all do what we can to help our sisters in Iran throw out, throw out the current oppressive regime. The women of Iran, as well as the men, are calling for a long overdue regime change. They need our support to be able to do this from within. They are not calling. They are not calling for an invasion from outside, but support that helps the progressive forces inside the country to reach their goals. The clerics have brought so much international shame, international shame upon Iran, and they must go. It is well known that the Iranian regime is behind all major terrorist groups in the Middle East. Iranian women, they do not want to be their legacy, and they don't want the country to have nuclear weapons. <laughs> the, religious, the religious dictatorship that suppresses basic human rights and kills people in public places must go so that the rights of all people, the rights of all people may be respected. The people of Iran must be able to freely elect their own leaders, both women and men, of their own choosing, and eliminate all the misogyny and discrimination against women and minority groups that is pursued by the current regime. And I look deeply forward to seeing a freely elected woman president of Iran. Yes, a woman. A woman like we did in Iceland back in, back in 1980. Iranian women in the resistance movement have been a real force for good. Like women everywhere, of course. But women in Iran, they have made a lot of sacrifices during the recent struggle. Some, of, some have made the ultimate sacrifice, far too many. One of the objectives of the democratic opposition in Iran is to eliminate the death penalty completely. And it is hard for us women from the Western Europe to understand why someone should spend time in prison or even pay with their life when asking for such basic rights as to be able to choose their own clothing. Mariam Rajavi has been a great leader of the Iranian opposition, a role model uh, for all of us here. We look forward to the day when the opposition movement can move home, can move home to Iran and institute her 10 points plan. And that will be a great day for all of us. But Mariam, Rajavi, but Mariam Rajavi has also a 12-point plan for gender equality in Iran. I come from Iceland, which, which consistently is on the top of international list when it comes to gender equality. The rights of women are ensured in our constitution and different laws that seek to give all equal opportunities, regardless from all the important goals that we have already achieved are listed as objectives for the new regime in Iran. Let us help them achieve those goals. Many of them are truly basic that we barely think about, and we barely think about them because we take them for granted. The right to employment and to choose a profession, equal pay, pay and benefits, equal participation in democratic elections, freedom to travel without permission, equal 
access to education, the right to be the guardian of your children, equal rights to inheritance, and the basic right But the women of Iran. They need our help to achieve this, all this, while they are fighting this brutal dictatorship in Iran. We must not fail them. We must not fail them. And then we will see a free and democratic Iran. Good luck to all of you.